Campbell opening up conference play on family weekend against Valparaiso. Both teams would open up with fairly short field goals before Valpo would take a 10-3 lead. Campbell would respond with this Jared Joyner 20-yard run to tie things up, and we go to the half 10-10. Second half was a back-and-forth battle. Mitchell Brown gives Campbell the lead with a 30-yard field goal, and Valparaiso would answer with a three-yard touchdown run by Brandon Hall to take a 17-13 lead. Dakota Wolf would then engineer a seven-play 84-yard drive with his legs on some tough running here. And then he would find Jordan Hildreth for a 15-yard touchdown strike, and the Camels would retake the lead. The Crusaders respond with a 37-yard pass from Ben Lehman to Andrew Kassara, who just gets into the end zone. You'll see the ball scamper away. It looks like a possible fumble. They say he broke the play beforehand, and it's 24-20 Valpo. Dakota Wolf would answer himself on this strong seven-yard touchdown run, and the Camels take the 27-24 lead into the fourth quarter. Valpo would try to tie things up on a 42-yard field goal attempt that is dead on line, but short. Campbell could not do anything with the ball. The Crusaders took it back down the field until Luke Hill intercepts this pass at the goal line, and he is off to the races. Looking to go 100 yards, only the speed of Andrew Kassara tracks him down as he would goes over 70 yards on the return. Again, Campbell couldn't quite put it away, and the Crusaders took it back. March down the field, and then Eric Westbrook picks off this pass, and he's headed to the house. And had he kept his balance, so he strutted down the sideline, this might have been a pick six, but instead, it's a 77-yard interception return. Deshaun Jones would cap things off with this 23-yard touchdown run to give Campbell a 10-point advantage. The Campbell's defense would hold. And the final Campbells would beat Valpo 34-24 to open league play 1-0. Deshaun Jones had 84 yards rushing to lead the team that ran for 296 yards on the night. Dakota Wolf had over 100 yards through the air with a touchdown and 54 yards rushing also with a touchdown on the ground. As mentioned, the defense came up big in the second half, holding the Crusaders to just 14 points and picking off three Valpo passes on the afternoon and evening, the last of which secured the victory. And it was all done in front of the second straight sellout at Barker Lane Stadium, as over 6,300 saw the Camels pick up their first win of the season. Next week, Campbell is back on the road to take on the Eagles of Moorhead State before returning to Barker Lane Stadium to take on Butler in two weeks. I dropped one earlier in the game, and we were in a coverage. I just read the quarterback's eyes and just jumped the route. But I give credit to the defensive line because without those guys getting that pressure, that, that pick would have never happened. Game plan was just come in and run the ball, set our identity, because uh, we had a good uh, run game last year, and we just had to keep our identity strong. And it all starts with my brothers on the offensive line. It's, it's all of them. Just, and running backs, running hard, everybody. It's all good. Our only mindset is to win the championship. So we just got to do what we got to do. We fought hard out here today, and we did what things we got to do. For a second, it looked like we was about to lose. Maybe we had doubt, but Coach always told us to stick together no matter what, and I think that's what we did today. Um, to be able to finish a game on the defensive side of the football, um, we made two big plays. I think Luke Hill play is probably the biggest defensive play since I've been here and uh, probably one of the biggest defensive plays in school history um, to, to make that um, interception to give us an opportunity um, to then close the door uh, with the offense running the football. And so we did what we had to do. I mean, they had 20 more plays than us. I mean, when you think about that, you don't supposed to win that game. <laughs> and um, the guys kept fighting, um, stayed in the moment. That's what we talk about, um, and kept playing each play. And, um, and it paid off. So, so it's always good to see the fruit of your labor um, up on their scoreboard. 